first heard the term sidebar when I was negotiating the multi-billion dollar TV theatrical contract when I was an officer with SAG-AFTRA. And the sidebar is a sidebar conference in a court of law, a discussion between the lawyers and the judge held out of earshot of the jury. And um, in the spring of 2020 is when Michael told Archangel Michael, I, whom I work with in my, my psychic work, told me that I was going to be doing these readings for you guys here on YouTube. And now is the time. So these sidebars are these little conferences, short little tidbits of information pertaining to a situation going on in your life right now that's going to be my psychic channelings for all the 12 signs. And then we get a little bit of tarot on it. And it's just a little bit of a little bit of discussion held out of earshot of the people in your life that this pertains to, to give you a little bit more information um, as, as it's guided. So enjoy. Hello, Leo, sun, moon, rising. Welcome to your sidebar, your private one-on-one -on -one mini conference with moi. This week, I'm picking up for you two things, glitter, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of glitter. I'm seeing a lot of glitter, like showgirl glitter, more than showgirl glitter, like like a glitter bomb, just sorry, maybe I shouldn't say that, but anyway, a lot of glitter, a lot, a lot of glitter, shiny, pretty, fun, happy. Okay, that's part of it. The other part I got for you in your psychic tuning is your health, taking care of yourself. What I actually got was glitter flesh, like actual, not like putting glitter on your skin. I mean, if we pulled back the skin and we saw the flesh and it would, there'd be like glitter inside, like see how when I do that with my nail, you see that little like glitter in there, like there was just a lot of glitter. Okay. Anyway, so I'm not quite sure what this means, what it feels is a bit of detachment from your body and I'm not sure if that's something you've been experiencing or if you've just been pushing yourself really hard. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what's going on. What other guided messages can I deliver to my Leos? Uh oh, someone is actually distracting themselves from their health using things, using Probably something fun with the glitter. Probably like band parties or shopping or something like, like that. But be careful. Be careful. Because the health stuff is going to catch up. Let's take a look. What does Leo need to know, please? What does Leo need to know for this week ahead? Mm. Hello, Moto. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is telling me to tell you, Leo, that you can't force it anymore. I almost said fake it, but no, she's going to force it. You can't force it anymore. If there's a relationship, if there's a job, if there's even an ambition, even if there's some project at work, even it, whatever it is, if you don't want it because you really want it, like your soul is, if your soul is trying to align with it and that's what's driving you, that's what this is. The Eight of Cups, this person is being pulled forward by their heart to leave behind all these beautiful gold cups, all these beautiful gold chalices and search for something more. So... You're showing up as on some, some sort of journey here with your little stick and you're not looking back. That's what I like about this card. Like he's, he, we just see his back and he's being led by the moonlight and he ain't turning back. No going back. It's interesting. I, this, this is, I never look at that, but she's drawing me to that moon face, like his expression. That is, that's an interesting expression.
weird. I'm getting um, an actual expression from the mountain and right in front of him right there. Like that looked, that looks like an expression to me. Hold on, stand by. Leo, you could actually be very out of alignment because you've been ignoring your health. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Don't be fearful. That makes it worse. It's you're you're getting there. You're going to get back into alignment. And gosh, you know, it really depends what what you're what's what's first and what you're missing or what's overemphasized and what's sort of lacking and what's hurting and what's mental think about that we have to take care of our mental health our emotional health our spiritual health and our physical health every individual is responsible for all of that and pay the rent and work a job and be in relationships and have family and get along with co-workers and that's like the basic. If you have ambitions and you want to achieve greatness or you want to do something really big in the world or you want to invent the next Elon Musk or if you want to, whatever you want to do, you got to do all of that and more. Obviously, we've seen examples of people that don't do that the way I just so conveniently organized it. Obviously, we have people that like have zero spiritual health, zero mental health, zero emotional health, driving their bodies and driving their energies to achieve and to accomplish and to do all these other things. But that's not you, especially if you're here with me because I'm here for your soul. That sounded a little bit grim reapery. I didn't mean it that way. It might come across that way because I'm a Capricorn stellium, but that's not how I meant it. What I'm saying, Leo, is that you're here for your soul. That's it. You're here for the sake of your soul, for the sake of being in alignment with who you really are. That's grand and great enough. So whatever you're pushing your body to accomplish, whether that's being there for everybody else or overworking or whatever you're like, I feel like you're just pushing yourself. And the glitter flesh is very, very strange. I'm getting like a beautiful mind vibes with that, with Russell Crowe, how he's like, you know. But anyway, I guess I'll leave that there, Leo. Um... Like I said, if you really are having a lot of health issues in any one of those areas, mental health breakdowns, emotional health breakdowns, nervous breakdowns, physical breakdowns, health crisis coming up for you, all of that, it's to align you. It's to force you to get in this energy. So I feel like for some of you, it'll be the physical, something physical happening to push you into this. And for others of you, you're already feeling this. So you are already taking care of the other, the other areas of health, already pulling back from physically demanding so much of yourself. But you have the answer either way. Okay. Okay. And like I said, don't feel bad or feel weird or feel, you know, if you're just like so unhealthy and you feel like, ugh, like you feel bad, don't let, don't go there. Just start again. Just start, start again. I learned that in Vipassana. Okay. I really will leave that there, Leo. Um, I do. And remember, this is a detail that fits into something else. So there's something else going on that's a bigger context. This is just like a detail. So I do contacts. I do 12 live streams every week and I'm going to be doing more on my Patreon. My Patreon and my YouTube is for all my psychic work, my psychic tarot work. That's like its own thing. I am a screenwriter, model, filmmaker. That's its other thing. So I just want you to know that. 
that I, I provide this resource for you, like Patreon, like hop on, hop off, toggle up, toggle down. It's there for you. It's there for your soul. Again, that sounds so... What else, I, what else do I usually say? Oh, if you hop on in the middle or the end of the month. I said that weird, sorry. They charge you at the first of the month. So if you hop on in the middle or at the end, go back and look at, go binge watch me because you get access to like everything. And I just want you to like, you know, have a lot of good, good energy work available to you. And that's about it. I still do personal readings. I had to raise my rates because I got way, way, way overbooked. So they're expensive, but available on the website. It's a better deal to book on Patreon in the highest tier to hop on for a month and then hop off or toggle down if you like it. And otherwise, I do recommend Keen. The link is in the description box below. They have a lot of psychics. They have like the world's biggest network of psychics and they have, they've been around for like 20 years. So they have a better price point than me. And that's just why I'm like happy to recommend them to you. So whatever is in alignment, you just need to do your own little, okay? All right, Leos, take care. I love you and I will see you next week. Mwah.